we uh, woke up early. It's 5.15, 5 5.20. We're headed to uh, a new piece, a new, new uh, some new country. And hopefully there's some elk there. Hi Trent. Fisher, how's, it, how's the season been going so far? Pretty. I gotta hold the mic. Re real good, real <laughs> car went real fast. <laughs> How are you feeling? Felt, felt like I was on a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> what? what do you think is gonna happen today? Yeah. I think today is gonna be a change of pace. I think not as far as any faster by no means, but I think we're actually see something today. I really do, I think we are. I'm hoping so. I think we're in it. We're we in picked it. a new area. We got new ground to cover. We've got, um, I like it. Well, we're still like it. We're still all dear friends. <laughs> we are, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and um, I, just, I just have I have good feelings about my feelings. Cool. Back to you, Dave. Back to you, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna roll the owl band today. We have her ears perched and like a submissive look to her. I think it'll work.
actually the light in your eyes out. It actually is in my eyes. <laughs> These elk are probably 100, 150 yards away, but man, it was like utter chaos for a sex horse. So let him calm down, go back in and do the same thing, set up again. He gets to spread out. It's and out. and Trent and Brian are just going to cause elk and chaos. Is what I like to call them. Spray King Cow Bugle Bugle. I think Brian was even smelling Trent's butt at one time. I don't know.
Smoked him. Smoked him. Four and then fifty one. Did so you see where I hit him the first so time? I don't know. I thought he was on the other side. Did you hit him the second time? Uh, I just smoked him the second time. I couldn't tell. Oh, okay. I couldn't tell. I could see him facing this way. He like immediately got sick though and ran yeah, he his head yeah. down and I couldn't oh. see and I was like, I gotta get another one in him. Like and there was a little gap and I was like, oh, I wouldn't shoot this, but I think he's hit. Fifty one dude just Smoke looked like show. I smoked him. But you hear him just dead. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, done. He's done. <laughs> what a morning, dude. <laughs> what a freaking morning. Oh, what a morning, oh, Bill Cunning. Oh, my goodness. Did you see the first one that came by? Yeah. Yeah. The big five? I didn't see him. I didn't see him. It was like awesome. Just noise. And I'm like, was he the growler? I think that, in my uh, head, in my head, the way it we played out was he left his cows to come catch you. Yeah. Because all of a sudden I see him from the. Well, there's another bull with the cows that's pushing the cows all around. Right. And those kind of peeled off below. It was really weird. Dude, I'm 99% sure, like, he's facing this, and you see the arrow come out past him. I'll talk about it the other side. Like, it sounded like. It sounded good. Yeah, sound the first shot sounded really, really good to me. It looked ish. Similar. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll find We're out. Back in meat. Did I punch the trigger, love? <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it, dude. Okay. Say that. That's the second time I felt. Felt really cool. good. I was on him, too, not even knowing him. Just. Dude. Like the Trent, you're the only reason I shot because I don't know how many times I've had bulls today. I've been drawn seven, eight times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where it's just like, no, no, no. And that time I drew perfectly. And he, he stepped took out. two steps That's out and I had to slide a little further to get past Atta it. boy. But it was still close. What a fun Here's morning. The, dude. Here's the, that was a morning. Where was he standing the second time? Found him. Yeah, I punched a hole through his neck and then right through his heart. Up front. Just forward. Forward was right. Both shots were right. Not good. It it's real easy. <laughs> it's so easy. So easy. <laughs> oh please, someone talk to me. Oh no, we're back at the truck just hanging out. That's why it's so easy. <laughs> Bull down, buddy. You guys got one? Bull down. <laughs> yes. Dude, we had just had the most amazing morning of elk calling I've ever been a part of. Really? I drew my bow back, a, I don't know, a baker's dozen. A <laughs> baker's dozen? Oh my goodness. Yeah, target rich environment. It, it, it's the epitome of elk hunting. The roller coaster, we all say it, or the ups and downs, the highs and lows. You can say it 1,400 different ways, but the real, when it comes down to it, it was we don't see elk for a long time, and then we kill an elk. That's kind of the way it happens. So it's, it's, this is kind of why we do it. It's just so exciting. You're, you could just think it's never going to happen, and then it does. If you guys watched the series last year, I was able to shoot it. Rosie the first day and then when these guys came to Idaho it was didn't go so hot and it honestly like eight months to think about cut two just foobar shots uh thought about it a lot and it's almost made me gun shy to even 
release my bow in an animal sometimes. I think I got, I just got over it. Finally get to break in the first Oregon knife. Jim. I like it. <laughs> Part of the pack out right there. Ugh. Did it. Did it. Five days. Roosevelt hunting is really easy. You know? Real easy. I said last year, I said, I want to experience the Roosevelt elk hunting that I've heard so much about. I shot mine last year opening night. This year, I think we experienced Roosevelt elk hunting to its finest. Five days we got after it. Finally got the right opportunity today. Punch the tag. Got a freezer full of meat. Delicious meat, too. Sorry it took so long for some uh, elk action, but uh, thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for coming, buddy. Thanks Enjoy for the bread. It's like a guided hunt. You guys are the best. That was so fun. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Thank you. Great spending some time. Kent? Yeah, absolutely. Good chilling, man. It feels good to tag out because that means you get to come to Fisher Farms and hang out in the barn all night. Uh, Kenton had to go home. He had a he has a super rad uh, elk tag in Idaho that opens tomorrow So he had to bail so we weren't able to get him an elk, but We are tagged out officially, right? Only available tags left would be zero zero How do you I, feel about that? I feel pretty amazed. It's a good start like, again. Amazing. The year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, it was too easy last year. We gotta kind of put you guys through the ringers a little bit. Yeah. Get like a little bit of taste. I feel like maybe that was like preconceived stuff. Like, uh, let's not take Casey like to the secret spot opening day or the day after or the day after that or the day after that. Day five, we'll let him. We'll let oh, him no. know. That's the whole thing with Roosevelt hunting. We went to like the best spot what we had, and it was not that good. So, um, it changed a little bit. And there's chickens. We have chickens. And Logan is so excited. 